Because a lot of times I feel guilty that I'm not attacking. And oh yeah, look at that active spine crawler. Or excuse me, creep tumorage. You know, well, I guess guilty isn't the right word. But I feel like I'm doing something wrong that I'm not attacking so, so, so much. You know, but this is a good job by Zelnik. Having this nice period of powering. Yeah, look at that drone count. Uh, getting more queens in here. Looks like there's a little bit of spine crawler readjustment. <gasps> oh, Zelnik, you are my hero. Look at this. Oh my god. Total man love for Zelnik. Bringing the spine crawlers that were used for early defense back into a position where they are anti counter attack style. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you need this creep spread so your queens are in super good shape. Um. But obviously, this means that Zergling counterattacks are really threatening. But notice this food differential. What the hell? 92 to 70? That's the sort of food differential that happens after some sort of huge, vicious screw-up. And really, Demaga wasn't in awful shape with the timing pushes, uh, the timing push of those roaches. He was in less than ideal shape. You know, I'm actually going to rewind a little bit. Uh, we're actually going to pop back here to right when the roach push happened. Because I want to just note the way that the food looked. So, um, let's see here. So, are the roaches going to be coming soon? Yeah, this is the part where Demaga is getting his spire up, and oh my god, here come the roaches. Zelnik is ahead by about 10 food, and let's see how far ahead he is after the battle. Okay, uh, it looks like a reasonable food differential. Do -do 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 -do. All right, he has to kill off all these roaches, and they do all die. They do some damage to the drone line. Not horrendous damage. Okay, so it's about a... a, a 14 food differential right now, but then suddenly it becomes like a 40 food differential as time goes on. Just stare at this food with me. Just stare at this. Look at this, you know, it seems pretty reasonable, this difference between the two. But then suddenly, Zelnik, look at him sprint up! Oh my god! And part of that is because he's using this hatchery to make a unit, as well as using the larva to make a unit. So he just has all this extra unit production capacity that allows him to pull ahead so, so well. And look, more queens popping out. I mean, really, if you had non-stop queen production, you could just say, whenever a queen finishes, vomit larva and add to battle. And you'll pretty much have um, almost constant larva production at each hatchery. So, something to think about. And there are these six queens that, again, look how, look at the energy build up on those queens and look at the food of Zelnik. this just looks so incredibly powerful and you know this looks so strong that when i see this i think well yeah Zelnik didn't even need to leave in those first two games where he was behind because if his mid game is this hell i'm <laughs> i'm delighted to mess up a, two, a few times just as long as i can make it to the 10 minute mark and look at this nice, slow, deadly push. And this is uh, similar to what I experienced against Zelnik on Blistering Sands that, again, made me almost shit a fully decorated Christmas tree because I just w didn't know how to deal with it. This is basically uh, the conclusion I came to as well. It's just, well, I guess I need to make a thousand spine crawlers. And even then, it was absolutely terrifying. Uh, we're going to see the push here. And thankfully, Zelnik spawned in the bottom position, so that way I can actually hold the alt button and show this health uh, stuff going on. So here's some nice action with the Mutalist trying to do some damage. But even with this many spine crawlers, and now w watch the queens. Just look at the queens that I have selected. Look, transfuse, 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 another transfuse, another transfuse, another transfuse, there's a transfuse, there's a transfuse, there's a transfuse. Transfuse, and good game. Wow. The good old no queen loss, right? That is sick. And in the meantime, you have 20 roaches running at his base and killing him. <laughs> Snapping his neck. That is exciting to me. Because people, um, people are just, oh, roaches, it's all you do in Zerg versus Zerg. It's all about roaches. And then they nerf roaches and everything. Oh, it's all about Zerglings and Banelings and now roaches are horrible and you shouldn't make roaches. And now I'm kind of like roaches and queens or Zerglings and Mutalisks. Kind of this mobile fancy army with a Ling Muta or something just rock solid like the, the roach queen. At the very least, it makes me feel like Zerg vs. Zerg is significantly more dynamic than a lot of people considered. Because you can now use this queen to perhaps a little transfusion boost to Mutalisk harass. Um, you know, uh, in these Muta vs. Muta battles, or, you know, increasingly Corruptor vs. Corruptor battles, people are just like, oh, man, you know, it just, whoever has the most gas wins. Well, now whoever has the most gas and then some minerals for queens to get into the battle to be able to transfuse, but then if your opponent makes more Zerglings, he can deal with your queens better, 
but then he has a weaker economy, you know, there's all these interesting trade-offs that happen. So definitely experiment with Transfuse. And it's been going for about 40 minutes now. I'm terribly sorry, but I must cut this off uh, early because I do have a dinner birthday party to attend because, hey, sometimes this bad boy socializes. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That's right. Real life friends. I don't always just sit in my room waiting for Jinro to log on Skype. Um, I must depart. So, um... Definitely will hope to do a, a part two of this Queen stuff in the future. Going to gather a little bit more datum. Um, perhaps I will even be doing something like oh, trying it in the QXC build order tester. Mm, mm, or even the new and updated Yabot build order tester made by a USC student. USC fighting. So um, sorry to have to cut out on y'all, but um, I'm going to run. Take it easy and see ya.